Bread and Pastry Production for Grade 7 and 8. Our topic is Preventive Maintenance Techniques and Procedures. The most essential learning competency is to perform basic preventive maintenance techniques and procedures. The purpose of this lesson is to apply the lesson into the real-life situation to be able to be more independent in their daily living. Number 1. Maintain tools and equipment according to preventive maintenance schedule or manufacturer's specifications. Number 2. Clean tools in accordance with the standard procedures. Day 1. In order for the learners to have a clear idea on the different objectives presented, they will answer this activity. Learning task number 1. Directions. Read each statement carefully. Write true if you think the statement is correct and write false if you think the statement is not correct. Establishing a preventive maintenance program helps to ensure that all equipment and tools function as intended. Failure to perform maintenance activities during production may increase the risk of microbial contamination. Preventive maintenance includes periodic examination and maintenance of tools and equipment. Saving money is one good reason in performing preventive maintenance. Preventive maintenance practices for cutting tools Number 1. Sharpen knives frequently, including retractable knives and disinfect before use. Number 2. Replace knives if damaged or if they cannot otherwise be maintained in sanitation condition. Number 3. Frequently inspect cutting blades before ensuring operation for damage, product residue buildup or cleaning needs. Number 4. Remove the blades and clean separately and remaining parts are disassembled and cleaned on regular basis. Number 5. Store them in their designated places. Preventive maintenance and practices for handy tools. Number 1. Protect all handy tools from dirt, rust, and corrosion by air drying them. Number 2. Wash and dry utensils with a clean dry rag before storing them. Number 3. Rinse tools and utensils in very hot clean water to sterilize them. And number 4. Have a periodic inspection and cleaning of tool. The following are the step-by-step -step procedure in cleaning the range. The following are the steps in cleaning the range. Number 1. Switch off and remove the electric plug to allow the range to cool before cleaning. Number 2. Remove and wipe food particles, burnt sediments and grease away from top of the range. Number 3. Clean the parts thoroughly, particularly those that are removable. Clean the burners with a dry brush or with a clean dry cloth. And number 4. Remove the grates before cleaning the entire oven. Scrape the food particles carefully. Wash and dry the removable parts very well. The following are the step-by-step -step procedure in cleaning the mixer. Number 1. Remove the detachable parts. Number 2. Wash the beaters and bowls after use. And number 3, wipe the parts with dry cloth thoroughly. Proper storage of tools and equipment. Storing and labeling tools and equipment. Number 1, categorize your items. Store tools and equipment according to their function and uses. Number 2, keep labels spacing out, box lined up, and bowl stuck in order size. Number 3. Labeling ensures you know where to find the tools you need to do the job well and efficiently. Importance of proper storage of tools and equipment. Number 1. It is very important to store tools and equipment properly to prevent from getting damaged and lost. Number 2. If the tools were placed in an incorrect area, it can prevent accidents. Number 3. Storing your tools properly makes them easy to find when needed.
Number four, ensures that tools are in good condition at all times. And number five, tools that are lost will consume money to replace and time can be wasted if they are not available and ready to use when needed. Baking tools and equipment maintenance. First, after using mixing bowls, spatulas, measuring spoons, and cups and mixer accessories, put it in a tub of warm water and add a small amount of dishwasher detergent to soften the burnt wood. Second, bake after baking, soak used baking pans in water with dishwashing solution to soften the burnt wood. Third, put back the electric mixers and other electronic equipment to their designated storage spaces. Fourth, before operating the equipment, be sure to read and follow the manufacturer guidelines as outlined in your equipment manual. And fifth, some equipment needs hot water to clean properly and others requires dish soap to clean. You should know which one to use and how much of it. Proper storage of tools and equipment. Number one, imagine it has a glass door on it and everyone is going to see what's inside your cabinets. Number two, take out the tools in the cabinet which are not useful. Number three, wash all used baking tools immediately after using. Number four, dry all baking tools and equipment by air or wipe it dry with a dishcloth. Make sure all knives, spoons, forks, and ladles are dry before storing. And five, store all tools and equipment in their designated places. Number six, frequently used items should be stored in accessible place. Seven, electrical cords should be gathered to prevent entanglement. Eight, knives should be stored with sharp edge down and handle up. Nine, hang measuring tools so it's easier to find the right quantity. Ten, stock bakewares, baking pans, baking sheets by size and type. Eleven, Labeling the tool storage can help to improve safety as well as organization and even efficiency. And 12, the areas where you store the tools and equipment should be dry and organized. Day 2, Development, Learning Task Number 2, Direction, Arrange the following equipment according to its cleaning procedure. Day 3, Engagement, Learning Task Number 3, Directions, Choose any appliance or equipment in your house and perform the proper cleaning procedure. Number 2, Write down the step-by-step -step procedure that you have done, including the tools and cleaning or disinfecting agents that you have used, and submit it to your teacher. Number 3, Rate yourself by finding out how well you perform by referring to the rubrics below. Day 4, Assimilation, Learning Task Number 4, Directions Have a look at the picture. What can you say about the picture? What you should do to make the tools last longer and function better? In essay form, submit your answer to your teacher. Day 5, Assessment, Learning Task Number 5, Enumerate 5 Ways of Preventive Maintenance for Cutting Tools. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.